Okay, hi everybody. Today I have a box or a bag from um, Shop Goodwill. It was a pearl lot, and I don't have the sheet to tell you right off what I paid for it. I would guess around 35 total with shipping. If I find the sheet, I will put that in the description so you know. Um, I'm a pearl girl, so I just, there was a couple things in here I was interested. The rest is, looks just like fashion pearls. So let's see what we got here. Oops, I lost. Okay. It did look like they had a lot of earrings in here. Okay, so let's see. So the earrings look like, okay, if you look at these earrings, you see this? I don't know if you, can you, can I get it there? Okay, see that? It's a glue pad. So they put it on a glue pad. Looks terrible. I mean, it's a fake one, but I would pop it off. Like this one's been popped off. Right there. And then I would glue it back on. So we'll put those over here. Can you see them right there? Yeah. So we'll put those over there. Let's see. We have a bracelet with no clasp. Um, nice pearls. They have all their... Um, coating on them. They're just plastic, but it's a cute little thing. I can put a clasp on it easy enough. I'm not unhappy with that. These are newer, of course, because of the lobster claw. Um, I don't see anything on them. Nope, it's just a gold lobster claw. Um, gold tone. Um, they are knotted in between, and actually they're very nice. They are plastic too, but, um, I don't think they're glass. Yeah, they're plastic, but they're nice and they're knotted, so they look really good. That's cool. That's not a bad find. Okay, let's see what this one is. So, ooh. Oh, the pearls, um, they move in between. They roll. That's cool. So I'm guessing Avon, maybe. Let's see what it says. What does it say? I got it upside down for me. Let's see, that does not say Avon, does it? Oh, well, let me look. Did not have my... I'll help, I can read that. I can't read that with that, and I don't know what I did with my loop, so we'll lay that like that. <sighs> I had the loop around here somewhere. Why can you never find it when you need it? So my loop is a um, 40 plus, which um, if you're like a diamond person or a gem person, a jeweler, you only use, you only have to legally use a 10 magnification to, to identify um, stuff in stones. So I got this and it has a light and it also has a black light, which is fun if you're looking at uranium glass or some of some of the stuff that glows in the dark so I will look at this and let's see because I am hey it does say Avon so I was right cool it, it's Avon and I like it sometimes Avon surprises you I will leave my um, loop up there so we can keep looking at it this is well I don't know I, I um, it has no stretch. It was a stretch bracelet at some time. It's just plastic. Um, actually, though, the plastic looks pretty good. You can put that in a bead lot and rebead it, make some cool necklaces or something. Let's see. Oh, look, more, more earrings. So that's two, four, six. Well, four pair with backs, two pair without so far. Okay, this is a pretty. And the pearls are um, gritty, but um, dirty. It is hand knotted. It is older. There's another earring that jumped out. Um, it is older. Um, from the look of the pearls, maybe the 70s. I don't think as far back as the 60s. So we can look at the clasp a little closer. There. <laughs> look at the verdigree. I mean, it's not really, I don't know that that's verdigree. I just think it's dirty. 
and there is nothing on it. And look at the wear. It's a beautiful clasp, um, and it does have all its rhinestones, it looks like. I might, depending on how these pearls clean up, um, I might reclad the clasp and, and sell them then, if they still look good. Oh, you didn't want to go in that way, did you? Okay, hold on. Let's put you in this way. Because these are, it is a beautiful strand of graduated pearls. Okay, so you saw how easily that pulled back out. So with these, you want to be very careful and just gently move it a little bit. Because it goes in here and you should hear a click. Click, yeah. So um, they need to be re-knotted. I um, have a knotter that helps re-knot um, pearls and I've hand knotted pearls before, good ones. I wouldn't take the time to hand knot these pearls. I might um, reclad the clasp and then put real pearls on with it because it is a double stern clasp that is old and it is very well made actually. Um, it does miss, it is missing a stone there. So, let's see. Can you see? There. So, but actually, most of the stones aren't even dead. Um, when you say a rhinestone's dead, it means it, um, usually ha rhinestones have a silver or gold backing and, um, then they get dirty and so they die. They don't sparkle the same. But that's, that's not bad, actually. Very dirty and gross. Wanna wash my hands. Here's some more earrings. They would be really cute if they didn't have that pad on it. And if you take that pad off, cause, well, cause I do things like that, it will probably not hold it. Um, it would be easier to buy some E6000 or um, Eileen's is a really good glue. Or heck, even super glue is better than this. Put a little dab on because, yeah, see, they pop off really easy. I do not like these earring pads. But the reason they use them is this is a flat back. So it's used to hold, yeah, there you can see there's no, usually pearls have a disc with a little sticky up. And then you screw them or put them in there. And that's what holds a pearl in. These don't have a post like that. And they're just fake pearls that have never been drilled or anything. So, you know, that is what it is. Okay. These are little seed pearls. Oh, look. Um, I don't know. Maybe they gave us a hundred of those, it seems like. Okay. Add a bead? No, it wasn't add a bead. In the 80s, you got these strands, sometimes three, like this one, with pearls. And you could get any bead you wanted. And then you twisted them like this. And then you had a little thing that connected them and you wore them around your neck. I cannot remember what those are called. My mom had one. I had one. You can see some of these are really nice. Some of these have some nice luster to them. So, um, you know, um, rice pearls like this. There's another. Rice pearls are pretty inexpensive to get. You can go to a bead show and pick them up for a dollar or two a strand. Um... They're hard to string because they're so tiny. So I wouldn't restring them, but um, you know, you could wear them like this. Another good thing is I don't think I got, does not look like it. There's some more, believe it or not. Those uh, earrings. Um, I will find a pearl um, or I'll find a pin and I'll, or a brooch and I'll show you how to put that on and you can wear it like that. Ooh, this is a fine, oh, I like this. This is pro, oh, it has a pearl at the end. So usually when you have um, newer pieces or even older pieces and they have the extender on them, the cheaper they are, they'll just have just a chain. A little bit not quite as cheap has, has the stone at the end, which this one does, so that's nice. I do not see a tag anywhere on these, which is okay. These are pretty nice pearls, actually. I would wear this, but I wear pearls, so um, I might wash it first. It is a little grimy because it's been in with some of those others. It also has bling balls. Um, these are pave set in the um, fine jewelry field. They're pave, pave set with diamonds or whatever stone you use. Um, in the costume jewelry world, 
They're usually set, sometimes prong if they're older. Um, and these, let's see. Yeah, see? Those are bad, and the rhinestones are very pretty. Um, they're plastic. They don't sound, they're not glass. Chain's not great. This one's dirty. So, a little bit of Dawn washing soap. Um, a quick wash. Um, these don't look like, they're, I would assume glued in. So, you don't ever want to do it in warm water. You want to do it in cold water. And you want to do it very quick. Um, pat dry. Let it drip dry. Pat dry and then drip it. And then use a hair dryer on the lowest setting you can or um, a fan. Yeah, there's a hair in here somewhere. Um, and that will clean them. So, and that hopefully you won't lose any stones that way from your rhinestone setting. You don't want to scrub or anything because what they do is they make the beads um, and then they drill them afterwards, usually. And I don't know if any of these, when you look really careful in the drill hole, you can see that one's not chipped. I'll find, I am sure there's a strand in here that has a chipped one in it. Let's see, maybe one of these do. Oh, okay, so you can see where they drilled it. And then, hold on, I'm not very good at this. There, they drilled it and you can see, and it will lose paint on the sides very easily. It'll just peel away. Um, these actually are in really good shape. You can see where if I did that, it would start, but none of these have lost their paint yet. So when I find one, I'll show it to you. But yeah, that's what happens. So you don't ever want to, I'm gonna save those. Oh look, some more beautiful earrings. I hope those pearls didn't belong to something. Okay, I found two that I wanna save. Oh, maybe three. Mm. Okay, that's exciting. Oh, okay, here's a, this is Avon too, I'm guessing. I don't know, can you read it? Let's get this out for me. Hey, this is Monet. Monet is a costume jewelry maker, and actually, um, Monet owns Trafari, I believe. They own most of them now. Monet has bought them over the years. So this is a newer Monet. You can see the M on it. These. I think are plastic too. They're still in really good shape. Um, that one's dirty. Oh, that's just dirty. Okay, so they still have all their lacquer on them or their paint on them. There's another one. Maybe I have a broken strand in here too. Um, so that's a really nice one and I will sell that one. Um, I have lots of pearls, so I don't, I have both real and fake, because I like pearls no matter what. This does not have anything on it. These are definitely plastic. Uh, oh, one of these maybe has a chip in it. No, these don't look like it either, but this is a really nice strand actually. And that's a nice long strand, so if you wanted to layer some pearls, you could definitely do that. That was a bucket of earrings I knocked over that I have. So it is 24 inch, looks like a 24 incher. So it's 12 inches on each side, 24. That's really good, that's a good layering piece for you. I would always suggest you have a couple layering pieces. Ooh, these are glass or real. Oh no, these are real. So these are real, they're um, freshwater pearls. Ugh, they are dirty. Um, very dirty. Uh, okay, that's not broke, so I can fix it. I don't know if this was the original or not. Um, I have a pearl class, so I would put that on it. Um, I would clean them first, definitely, um, before I did that, pat them dry. They're really nice. Oh, God, they just feel gross. Um, but those are nice, and they're a, they're a nice color. See, they're different. Pearls come in all different colors. We like them white in America, but um, they come in all different. Okay, here's a pair of glass. I will keep this strand, which to my husband's chagrin, I won't be putting this one up. This is a graduated, so it starts back here. Those are six millimeters, and it graduates out here to probably 10 millimeter beads. It's beautiful, beautiful. And that's hand knotted. Um, not great, you know, 
they're just glass pearls but um it's long let me see i'll measure it for you guys let me get it in here we got 32 34 inches so it's a 34 inch or so yeah that's a great layering piece you could double that one up if you have a small enough nick i do not but if you do okay here's a pearl bracelet that's lost its stretch and maybe its charm i don't know that it really ever had any charm but um i wouldn't have i don't think ever worn this the pearls themselves will be nice. Somebody, a crafter or a beater, will have gold pearls that have, or gold beads that have no wear on them. And then the pearls, which actually are clean and have no wear. So that'll be another pearl. I'll probably just do a pearl bag for someone because that's it. These are Mardi Gras kind of pearls. Um, so they look like they're knotted from far away. But when you get close, you can see they're not. They're just Mardi Gras. They're glued in place or whatever. Um, I'll keep these. I wrap them around my Christmas tree sometimes. Or um, my granddaughter plays with them. So I'll keep them with the strand, all the strands of Mardi Gras beads I keep for her. And um, I guess if I ever dress up like a flapper, I'll have these to tie. Because it's, of course, a long one, too. It's... 24 36 so um, it's 36 inches in length so you double that for the full length of them when they're not um, that so what 82 is that 82 no 62 30 and 30 60 and what did I say 4 and 4 is 8 so 68 this is a set, see the pearls, let's see. Yeah, it's got a pink tint to it. Can't maybe see it, but when you put it down against those, you can see a pink tint or maybe those. Somebody made this, I'm guessing, from, oh, it, and it's older. Somebody made it though, and um, they were either new to beading or didn't know any better, but see, here's a crimp bead. So you string them, you string them on and then back through the crimp bead and you press it down once like that. And then you press it from the sides to bend it together, to lock it. So if you ever see them like that, you need to finish the crimp for them. I don't have a crimper with me but right now. I don't know where it's at, but they need to be um, put in two. Um, so it locks them together. This is an old fashioned clip like that so they're nice they are um nail breakers though <laughs> so be careful of that but and this is a small short one this is meant for a choker yeah it's 14 inches or seven inches doubled up so but they're pretty now oh these are just dirty um I, they're plastic but they're really dirty gross <laughs> Um, this is called a pearl clasp. So, oh, my hands are getting really dirty. Sorry, that's gross. Um, so a pearl clasp looks like this. And then you come out like that and through. So that's what they do. So what it is is they tie them onto these. And this one's actually been tied very well. And it has um, wire right there. Because you usually string pearls on silk. And then you put a very thin gauge of gold or silver or it looks like spring around it and that protects it the um, pearls from uh, the string from abrading from the movement so and pearl clasp are fun you can find really neat ones that have very ornate things in them let's see usually if a pearl clasp is gold or silver let me see in there is where it'll say it this one doesn't say anything let me click it doesn't say anything in there either it doesn't say anything in there either but that's where it'll be labeled if it doesn't have a hang tag and also on this part it will sometimes be labeled right there but it's not this is just um and these are knotted very tightly um 
So whoever knotted them was either doing it quickly because they're fake or new to it because you don't want them that tight. It pulls you on a little looser than that. Um, I would probably wash those up and maybe even put those up for sale. Okay. So, oh, I got, oh, I got more than I thought. Here is a tiny, tiny set. These are, oh, it's graduated too. Look at that. It's graduated. Beautiful. I'm going to move my pile so you can see these. It's graduated. Little tiny one. Great starter. Um, I have an eight-year-old granddaughter. These would be a great starter for her. Um, it does have the old, old-fashioned screw barrels. Um, so that does age it a little. Um, and they are nicely made. It's probably from the 80s, maybe the 70s because of the screw barrel. But those have actually even changed over time. Oh, look, I have a match. <gasps> I have a set. You're not the set. Let's see here. The Monet has a set. So here is, let's take this one out. So here is the beautiful Monet um, necklace. And look at this. It came with a bracelet. Oh, the clasp is dirty. Um, it, it looks like it's been worn, but actually it hasn't. Um, it's sticky stuff on it so I can clean that off with a soft bris bristle um it's only dirty at the ends so what I might do is just scrub a little at the ends so that it doesn't affect the setting oh yeah this has had nowhere at all look at that so that's good and then it just needs a little clean up on the clasp nice um nice clasp there's something else written there. Let me see what that says. So it says Monet again. Oh, patent pending. P-A-T. Um, so yeah, so I will have a set to sell. Um, I have some pearl Monet earrings too that I got in another lot. So I would probably, um, I'm pretty sure they're gold. So I would probably add them depending on if this color matches. The funny thing is they're, um, these are probably four millimeter, and these are six millimeter beads. It's funny that the bracelet's a little bigger, um, but this is a nice set. And also, an, another thing, when you're wearing um, pearls, if you wanna put a brooch on it, or put a, um, a pendant or something on them, it's nice to have sets like this that aren't real, so you're not going to ruin a, you know, you're not going to ruin um, the silk on a, on a um, real set of pearls. So here's a pin. It goes like that. So one way you can wear them is to find the middle. And I'll string it through. Mm, wrong way. There you go. So then you can wear like a pin. Um, actually, I've worn, um, I have this in silver. I wear silver 99% of the time. I, I put one up there and then I wrapped it like that. Can't remember, but I had it so that when it hung, it was hanging, you know, to the side like that a little bit. So it looked like it was supposed to be there. So that's always a, a good option when you're wearing pearls to make them a little more fun. And I will use this pin in a minute that I got out. So I got out this pin right here. I have this pin and I will show you in a minute how to wear it on a double strand because that's a fun way to wear them. So this was definitely, I will definitely, this would, let's see if any of you guys are interested and you contact me at um, designs and do-overs at gmail.com. The set for the um, necklace and bracelet would be 12, and then I'll probably sell it for 24 to 30, depending on what they're going for and how many there are online right now. That's a good one. 
So, ugh, these are so, I love that. I mean, how, how can you not love this? This, that is a beautiful thing. These are, I think they're plastic. Um, and the way it looks on the back, it's probably gold plated. Nothing exciting or anything. It's beautiful. That was probably C disease. Um, it may be a lab created um, black sapphire or, um, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's there's no blue in it, so it's black. So it's just a black glass stone. Let's see if there's any. It's a beautiful clasp. They put some money into just making it, even if. Okay, no wear on the inside there. That looks good. Ooh, looks great on there. No wear. It doesn't look like anyone's worn this. I'm not seeing any of markings. Um, and if you look here, they finished each strand with the bead ends on the inside instead of just knotting them. That'll make it wear longer. So it shows more of a quality. They put more time into it. The other thing about this that I, that will help if you, if you want to know if it's a quality piece, even though it's costume, because costume still can be worth something. If you look here, see how it's um, graduated? So it's graduated to do that. So my guess is it's meant to be twisted. Let's twist once and twist once then go like this. So that's one twist. Oh, I may need another twist, but yeah. So it'll lay flat on you and that will lay down right in between your collarbones. It's a little longer, so that's really nice. That is a beautiful set and that would be really pretty um with this you could wear you know earrings black or gold or pearl so it doesn't have to be you know an opera pearl outfit um so that's cool i really like that that was a good find and i will sell that um this will be 12 and then i'll probably put it up for 22. you know it's not labeled so um, I'll do a little bit of research. I haven't seen this one though in my travels and um, so yeah I think 22 is fair and it's beautiful definitely. I like these. Now these are eight millimeter beads, eight millimeter pearls. They are glass. You know if you rub pearls together, I know everybody knows, you rub pearls together if they're smooth, then they're probably not um, real. Although <laughs> some of the really nice Mickey Motos and such, you can um, you can rub them together and you may not feel the grit. So it depends. You can also look through a loop and you can see the different pittings. This looks like glass from the way it is. It's very nice. It's got R. What's that say? Can anyone have used yet? R L L. Let's see. It says R. Well, L, because the middle one's L. The one on the left is R, and the one on the right is right is L. So it's R L L. Um. So that would be Ralph Lauren Lauren um, line. So he Ralph Lauren has many different lines, um, depending on the cost. So. This would probably be 20, 25. I'll double check that that's Ralph Lauren. Um, sorry, my dogs are playing right behind me. Um, I have a dachshund and um, a German Shepherd Husky mix and they play very loud. The dachshund's the one that barks. So you can see that they did use brass for the pearl endings which is very common. They may not have known what class they were gonna put on it when they were making them. It's a very nice class, but I don't see any markings. Sometimes class were marked on the inside so you can't see them around here. Let's see this one, no tag. 
Oh, it has been slid in and out quite a bit, but it doesn't look like they've been worn. They're actually clean. They don't even feel dirty. The string is very clean too. Very tight clasp. Um, well, would I have a magnet up here? Probably not, so I can't test it right now. I'm guessing it's not sterling silver. It doesn't look like it to me, so I would not, I would not guess that that would be sterling. Um, it's very hard to get sterling to shine up like that. Stainless steel does, only um, these are stainless steel, and this is sterling, see? And if you put this with it, that's more towards the st sterling. So yeah, maybe it is. It may have a good um, lacquer on it um, so that it doesn't tarnish. So I will check those, but it's not labeled anyway. So I said I would show you on these. Oh, they're just dirty. They're just dirty. Okay. So I have them and they're laying like this. So they lay beautifully. Oh, I have it backwards. Let's do it this way. I still have it backwards. Oh, well. Okay, so they're laying, you know, you have them and you have them on like this so that when they lay around you, they'll lay flat. Oh, that one is still loose. Okay, so they would be laying like this. And then if you want to put a pin in them, a littler one is what I would use probably. That one doesn't go up and down but you want one that probably goes up and down and so you put them you string it in the where that you don't put the pin through it you just lay the pearls on then you put the pin clasp over it and you clasp it like that now they will stay and that's what it will look like this one get, this isn't probably the perfect one I love bows though bows and pearls go together well so you could do that um, I love brooches and have lots of them, and this is one of the ways I get to wear them, is if I do that. Um, you could, let's see, if we'll, this will be around like this. So, you could put, um, the rose up here. Oops, off screen. You could put the rose up there and wear it like that. It's a little bit more fun with this one, though, because this class this clasp is so beautiful. Another way to wear them that's a little more modern is to put the clasp down, down on one side. Um, my friend has a pair of, uh, she had, they were her grandma's or something, and she would wear the clasp down in the front like this. It was a shorter length. It was double strand choker, so they were, it was beautiful. Um, that was in the 80s. My mom always said she was being pretentious. That's not what you do. You shouldn't put the clasp in front. A lady wouldn't show off her jewels. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. Um, nowadays, I would probably do that. I always, in high school, I said I'm a pearl girl. So in high school, I wore a single strand of pearls. Um... Well, they were like, I don't see one. They were probably like these. So I wore a single strand of pearls that were like this. And then I wore a chain with a solitaire and a cross on it together at the same time. And then um, at the time I didn't have my ears double pierced. So I would wear a pearl stud in both ears and then either a hoop in the same hole or a diamond in one or both holes before I had double piercings. I regret doing that now. My ears are a little stretched out. Not terribly though, so. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've always been a pro girl. These are dirty and need to be washed. So my favorites, let's take the, the pins, the brooches away. My favorite, well actually my favorite is probably this one. And the Ralph Lauren, I do love this one. I just wouldn't wear that. I mean, like with a white t a white dress shirt and pants or a skirt to work, I would wear those. I really love the Monet set. I don't wear gold, but it's on the back, so you would never see it. I like those. And then this Tolaire. 
I always wear a long 32, 34 inch um, chain with a skeleton key on it. Everybody loves, I wear that almost every day. I would wear this with that, no problem. And then, you know, if you wanna be a little, a little dressier, how about wearing this and then having this at the top? Yeah, I would do that. That would be, that would be okay with me. My husband might laugh, but that would be okay. Um, in another um, box I got from Shop Goodwill, I found a rhinestone necklace that I'm going to put up. I haven't yet, but... So this is what it looks like. And I would wear... I think that would be beautiful. It sticks with a long set of pearls. Maybe not quite as long. Maybe just wear it like that. So it just hung down a little. Oh, that's disgusting. That's just yucky. So this up at your choker. Sorry, I hit you. This up at your neck. And then these draped down about that much. I would do that. I'm a, I would put a pen off it probably. I would have no problem doing that. Um, at all. I also would wear... You know, a strand of pearls with, um, oh, I don't know. I would wear them with just about anything, but I don't think you need a special occasion to wear pearls. I, I might even wear this. What do you think? It's probably too much, but, I mean, we're not doing Christmas parties this year, but maybe next year at a Christmas party? With, oh, a bright, you know, a red sweater. Um, some pearl, some awesome pearl, um, rhinestone earrings with a pearl drop. Um, of course, you know, at least three or four bracelets on each side. Um, I have a different watch band that I would change because I have an eye watch. So that's what I would, um, I would wear. I always wear my watch. I have to have a watch on. Um, I do not have a pearl ring because I've never, I have a couple, but they're, um, fakes and, um, cause they usually set a pearl up high and alone and it falls off and I'm very, very difficult on my hands, very hard on them. So, um, I would probably wear a blingy ring with it and like I said, several bracelets and then I have uh, on with this. I always wear these two, but I would add, I would stack and then I would, um, have some huge earrings to level it all out. Maybe even use a couple clips on my heels to make it look fancy. What if I had a long nun with this? My husband might say that that's a little too much, but um, he's known me since high school, so he doesn't really, he expects it now. <laughs> he's never quite sure what I'll come out with on. So those are my favorites. The shot will probably be like this. I'll do, looks like a booty, a pirate booty with no rubies or emeralds, but we'll get that in the next one, right? And I guess I should tell you how many earring pairs I ended up with. That would be fun to know, huh? So one, I got those two, one pair, this pair, two pair, three pair, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one extra. It may be here too, even. I may have that one too. So, oh yeah, here it is, nine. I got nine pairs of earrings. I'm not sure. Um, those I'll just throw in as people order. Um, them, I will probably re-glue them. Some of them I may not. Um, some of my earrings that are like, um, over the top, um, pearl earrings, I'll just add a set of these to the card so they can have them. Um, so, and that, now you know what a earring pad looks like, um, for gluing those on. And, um, I may do... I will definitely do a video to show you how to do them correctly versus incorrectly. Um, 
I've made many pearl earrings, freshwater pearl earrings in a couple culture that I have and never done it like that. So, and then, like I said, if any of you are interested in, any, in anything you saw, um, commenting down below is okay, but I'll have my email and the information and it's um, designs and do overs at gmail.com. And then the rest of it, I'll either put up in, on Poshmark at Designs and Do-Overs or on eBay at Designs and Do-Overs. And then I have other, um, on Poshmark, I have lots of beaded purses, um, vintage or 80s or, or before um, kind. And then on um, eBay, I have, well, lots of different vintage figurines and fun things and then um when my daughter goes along she always um she loves starbucks coffee so she finds starbucks coffee cups so i sell a lot of those if you're interested in those they make great gifts um with a gift card in them for your coffee lover oh and i have these sweet pink pearls don't forget those they're just very very sweet these are sweet too um and you'll have to save me if you're interested in them because I don't need more pearls in my life I really don't but you can't ever have too many as far as I'm concerned unless they're earrings like this <laughs> so anyway thank you for joining me today I will be back I have on my desk right now one two three four five boxes um, a couple of them I've gone through a couple of them I haven't and today I was out and bought my first jewelry jar I've ever bought. It was um, $19.99. And I think it's all earrings. So I will be doing that one next because I'm dying to, to see what's in there. And then um, I will also be putting up some how-tos, um, like how to clean your jewelry, how to repair it, how to, um, if you have some wear on some vintage pieces, which most of us didn't. Um, how to replate some of that, um, an easy replating way, kind of the, the poor man special, and then um, a more extensive way if you want to get into doing that with some of your jewelry, because I like to fix costume jewelry. Um, I also fix real jewelry. I had um, and I've done silversmithing since high school, so I will be happy to share some of that with you. Thanks again, and um, here there's a wider look at all the pearls that were in this bag. And when I find the um, paper that says how much exactly it was, I will also put that down below. And I will put the link to my wonderful loop. This is, I have several loops. This one, um, I always have a 30 loop, which is just the loop by itself. Um, but this, this one is um, lighted, which I love. And it also has um, 40 magnification, which is awesome for these 50 year old eyes I just turned 50 and it's kind of hard to read some of those marks nowadays so i have a link for that and um anything else that you might have been interested in otherwise i will see you in a day or two have a great day bye